In a move to meet clean air targets, new taxi licenses in London will only be granted to zero emission capable vehicles. It's part of a plan to take all diesel powered black cabs off the city streets by 2032. The London Electric Vehicle Company received $22.5 million in government funding. Parent company Geely also issued hundreds of millions of dollars worth of green bonds to reboot this operation. And they built a brand new manufacturing facility near Coventry, England, where around 10,000 vehicles a year are expected to be produced. The batteries are fixed into the chassis and the vehicle's body is then attached on top. Steve Fitter is the production manager. What you see in front here are basically four components. You have the, the rear drive unit and the electrical generating uh, unit, rear suspension. Here, the mid-zone tray. Two onboard chargers. The three items you see in, in front of you here are obviously the, the battery pack. Okay, that again is a separate unit that comes into the vehicle and everything is connected uh, by the high voltage cable systems you see in front of you. It generates, as I said, around about 400 volts. The battery life on fully charged is around about 70 hours. Um, and, and on the front of this, we have the front suspension. Now, this all comes together with the vehicle that's in the air behind us. It will come into station, see this come down and this go up, and we begin the connections and bolting in the whole of this generating system. The vehicle uses a tried and tested battery that sister company Volvo manufactures. To maximise the range and battery life, the car is designed to be as lightweight as possible. Our idea was that we would offset the weight of the battery, which is around 350 kilos, against the overall taxi. So this vehicle is an aluminium body structure, and we use bonded technology in order to put the vehicle together. And so that bonded technology allows us to make sure that the vehicle is structurally stable, uh, very, very consistent, but also extremely lightweight. And that lightweightness provides us with the ability to meet all the crash requirements of the best European standards and global standards, but also uh, offset most of that overall battery weight. Tell me about the technology and the batteries you've got in these vehicles. So it's a lithium ion battery. It's from one of the biggest makers in the world uh, and it's based completely on the Volvo technology. So we're using three strings of an XC90 battery, specially developed for this vehicle uh, and turned into a single pack. It sits at the front of the vehicle to give the best weight distribution we possibly can and also the best crash protection to meet best standards in the world. What does that mean for range, for instance? So the range of the vehicle is 80 miles in the current uh, NEDC cycle. Um, and what it means is that the, the, the battery is the maximum that a driver would normally do in a morning. And it was all about making sure that the battery was the right size for the operator who's using the vehicle. So he finishes his morning, she finishes her morning. Yeah. How long does it take to charge a battery so like that? If you char fast charge, you can fast charge in about 20 minutes for about 80%, 20 to 25 minutes to about 80% of the of So that's the a, your lunch break in theory. Exactly. You can sit there and have a coffee and by the time you finish it's done. Hi, I'm Arjun Carpool and thanks for watching The Edge. To check out more online videos, just click on the boxes and don't forget to subscribe to the CNBC Live channel right here at the bottom of the screen.